that plays for looking for that bar, right? We see some of those lawyers out there that are specifically looking for those V-Trigger setups and the ridiculous damage that can come oh. off of it. But then you look at Bison. So many different ways to play this character. Whether you're looking for the to pop your gauge directly or you spend it defensively and try to maintain pressure throughout the set. It looks like, though, it's just a lot of pressure, and it looks like Bison just continuing to maul this Laura. Yeah, but the interesting thing about this matchup is obviously both characters can swing either way. We know Laura has a very aggressive, very in your face playstyle of offense. But we also know Bison's the same way, and Bison has always been the same way. The difference being is Bison is not quite as making you guess. It's more of just, when is my turn? When do I get to play? He's making you constantly block and make you think, okay, I have to wait, I have to wait, I have to wait. When Laura is forcing you to make those actions, like, do I jump now? Do I backdash now? Do I block now? Do I try to contest with a button? Yeah. And so it's a little bit of a different style of approach. But right now, what we're seeing out of Element is that he is completely just dictating, and we haven't seen anything come out from Spider, but there's a command grab. Maybe we can see a shift in momentum now. And these are, are some of the same folks that we saw earlier today, right? Spider had having those difficulties out the gate uh, as he had to play Dr. African. And now Element uh, falling previously to Sherry Jennings as well. Like, there, there's a couple of problems uh, that they were having, and both of them were dealing with a Nikali that was rather aggressive. Um, so these guys might not, it's a question of whether these guys are better at taking that damage. Which one of these can hold up to it and not crack? under the pressure. Yeah, we're seeing that now. They're going back and forth a little bit more than they were last round. It's not so much in favor of one player. And a little bit in the favor of Elvin Minow getting that corner pressure and Spider Ooh. just decided not to block there. Now finding himself in the corner. And then not the full distribution of the combo as well. Stand Strong could go to Crouch Strong and then leads to a, a little bit of extra damage. But at the same time, yeah, we'll pick up whatever we have scraps left on the plate here. Yeah, just decided that we all know Bison comes on the other side, right? Once he's a V trigger and he yeah. does that reverse, he comes on the other side. I'm not exactly sure why Spider decided to jump there. I think the best option would have been perhaps to dash forward. Anyways, the round moves on, and Spider looking looking pretty good this round. Still having a problem, I'm noticing, keeping consistent pressure. We're seeing he's going at it right now. We'll get like one combo, and then it kind of ends. We haven't seen that real aggressiveness of keeping on top of your opponent, yeah. whereas Element has been pretty solid at that. There we go. EX uh, Bolt Charge coming out through there. The theme definitely for both of these players has been that their damage tends to come piecemeal. You're absolutely right about that. And that was the theme in the previous matches that we saw from them earlier. And now here's the follow-up. Woo! Does it! Yep, that'll be it. So catching in on that EX now is enough. Spider 1, 2, 3 starting to show some life now. Okay, just does it. I wonder... Now this is the, where the when's my turn question comes up. And that's a common question uh, when it comes to Bison. So what are some key things that some folks need to look out for to understand this is their turn. This is when they have the ability to counteract. Well, something I'm noticing even right there is Spider, every time he's gone for the overhead, it's been it's been knocked down by that stand light kick. So the real, the big things to notice with Bison are just how, the, it's not specifically the character, but how the player is playing the character. Mm -hmm. For instance, when we see certain Bison players, we'll see gaps in strings, or we'll see some players are so risky, in fact, that they'll do like a roundhouse into a roundhouse, because they know their opponent is so afraid. So it's really based on more so of the character, not the player. And something we're seeing now is just, Spider, it looks like he's a little bit frustrated. Uh, I guess that's funny. He's wearing a Spider-Man shirt. His name is Spider-1-3. I love it. And then he his opponent, Element, has a, a Bison hat. I really like that. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. So the patterns we noticed were it's just Spider, it's not so much if he can't combat Element's offense. He couldn't get his own offense going. And obviously, you can't win games from just blocking, right? Yeah. In basketball, if you block all the shots, great, but you're not scoring any points, right? Yeah. You got to get some of those layups. And all right, Spider finally chipping in now. Ooh. That time it actually worked out. He tried to look for the cross under at afterwards to get some sort of a mix up, but not so. Still looking for those grabs. Element now having difficulties just keeping this Laura off of him. And that's going to be the first round of the board for Spider. You know, that, that was a really strange round, actually, because Element had pray, played really calm throughout this whole set and had not really jumped at anything specifically. And when I say jump, I don't mean physically jump, but kind of like that little jump you do when you see when something happens. That Reacting, really seemed yeah. very antsy. He did like wake up moves that you don't really do on wake up. He really just wanted to get away instead of just defense. But now Spider, it seems like it's, whoa. 
Looks like that's exactly what you're talking about. He's quicker to jump now. Now, it seems like there's a lot more moments that these guys are trying to find some sort of offensive pressure. The multiple buttons there, the V-reversal finally coming out here. You have an opportunity. Tries to guide himself in, but not going to be able to find some sort of opening. I, I will say something I'm noticing about Spider now is it looks like he doesn't recognize the block strings because there have been block strings where it's like stand, stand strong into Psycho Blast, mm. where it's a very obvious you just block it and go back to neutral. Yeah. I've seen a couple of times now he'll block the first thing and hit by the second thing where it's just... I wonder what he was doing there. Maybe he was trying to jump out. Maybe. Oh. Oh, oh man. That's always so dirty. Someone God. dash forward, dash back, and you get hit. I think you're right. I think there's definitely, like, a lack. There might be a, a, a bit of knowledge to be gained from Spider for figuring out when exactly it's his turn. Woo. Damage. No, the walk forward, the menacing. Stun, but that will be more than enough for Element to move on over Spider. 3 0, looking pretty good. Believe that was, as you said, that was loser side. Yeah, I saw these guys play earlier, so yeah. All right, well, it looks like Spire's gonna be going home, slowly disconnecting that controller. Doesn't want it to be over yet, because now this is the hardest part for all of us when we go to tournaments going from player to spectator. Ah, something I'm uh, actually quite familiar with. <laughs> We so, have the best seat in the ho house, though, John. Yeah, that's why I transformed my experience. I no longer go from player to spectator. I go from commentator <laughs> to sp <laughs> spectator. <laughs> oh, man. This, this has been a crazy event so far. Uh, we've seen a lot of ups and downs. And it's been, honestly, one of those moments where it's like you get to see the full variety.